Hello, everybody, and welcome to the first episode. Well, I guess it's not really the first episode. We, I did do a preview of this game when uh, before it came out. Well, either way, it's just, it's the it's we're doing Panzer Corps. We're doing Panzer Corps too. Uh, I said I was going to be doing this for like the last month, but uh, things kept popping up. So hey, I got it. We're here. It's <laughs> don't be angry. <laughs> I'm here now. Um, so yeah. Uh, uh, wow, those various different audios, because uh, the music that when I started this was actually very loud, so I'll put that back up. Uh, but yeah, uh, I did a preview of this. We just kind of did some basic uh, missions. Uh, wasn't We didn't do the full thing, but now we're going to do the full thing. Uh, because I'm uh, I'm interested in this game. I've always loved the original Panzer Corps, and I haven't really played Panzer Corps 2. Uh, funny enough, way back in the before times, uh, like when I first tried to do Let's Plays on this channel, because I had a break of about two or three years between when I tried to do Let's Plays originally to when I started doing it with like Ben and the rest of the guys that really got me into like this set. Um, Panzer Corps was one of the first games I did, and I have like, I don't know, like, like a full series on it on here. It's really bad, and uh, I'm not going to take it down or, or unlist it because I think it's funny that I was so shit, but it's there if you want to go check it out, including like a lot of really bad, st <laughs> like, really bad content. Not bad as in like it's 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 like uh, like problematic, just bad as in it's like poorly made. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead. We're going to start a campaign. Uh, <clears throat> and I guess we're going to go ahead and we're going to do like the Poland, Barbarossa, North Africa, Kursk and Italy, uh, like just campaign here. Yeah, I guess we're just going to do all these. Uh, and... Yeah, we're just going to go with the standard kernel. Because I don't want to... Because <laughs> I'm I'm not good. So... Uh... Alright, so these are scenarios. Okay, so there's scenarios within the campaign. So we're going to start at the beginning campaign. There's 20 to 23 scenarios in it. Um... So yeah, uh, let's go into this. <clears throat> as the newly minted general, as a, as a newly minted general in the German Wehrmacht, uh, Wehrmacht, uh, I'm not sure. I always, I've always pronounced that wrong. Uh, it falls upon you to spearhead the German invasion of Poland and prove your mettle in combat. Always choose your avenue of assault wisely, as future decisions will dramatically impact your campaign and even the course of the war. Strategic warning. Uh, more close quarters, combat, and sieges in the southern route. More mobile and open ground warfare in the northern route. <clears throat> I say we do the north. Do northern Poland. Because, yeah, I say we do the northern Poland route. Let's do that. If you don't know, by the way, I guess there's a couple people who don't know what Panzer Corps is. It's a hex-based, it's a turn-based hex uh, World War II strategy game. Where you play as, uh, well, I mean, you can play as the Allies, uh, but it's based on being the Germans, and you're just kind of going through World War II. And it's a very well-known and very loved series. Uh, welcome, General. Please introduce yourself. Type your name here. Uh, well, uh, we are Commissar Roach. <clears throat> what are our strengths? Well, I say we are a Panzer General, because, you know, that's, I mean... Panzer Corps. It's kind of it's kind of in the name. Uh, what are our weaknesses? Green Army delayed reinforce uh, delayed reinforcements. Poor maintenance. Chaotic fire. Each attack deals one point less damage to the enemy. Slow modernization. Ruthless would be fun. Never accept surrender. Let's find a decent 
We'll do that. I always, I, I think I said this in the previous one, I always like the, the jaunty cap, like, tilt kind of look. Uh, so perimeter control, friendly units and hex cancels enemy zone of control in that hex. Okay, force concentration can assign one extra hero to every unit. Terrain expert, friendly use gets plus one base entrenchment. Auxiliary force gets additional auxiliary slot in every battle, equal to 50%. Ooh, it's not. It's it's kind of up in the ar It's up in the air against deep recon and operational initiative. Operational initiative gets us some pretty good initiative, but deep recon gives us just reconnaissance. I mean, that that reconnaissance is good. We're gonna go with reconnaissance. We're gonna go with deep recon, so we kind of recon all the areas around our objectives. I forgot to put on my glasses. So I had to clear off some dust. All right. So yeah. I salute your impeccable timing here, General. My telephone call with High Command just finished. Now that the invasion of Poland is imminent, we need to discuss your role in Operation Falweiss. Hmm. During these briefings, I will be your primary link to the directives coming from High Command. While my time on the battlefield may be long past, I can still offer you important insights alongside your orders. Now then, on to the business at hand. Okay, capture all. As you can all. see, we're deploying your new Panzer Corps to Yesro to combine with elements of Kluge's 4th Army. Your immediate objective is to cut the Danzig Corridor by advancing to the Vistula River. Our move to link Germany and East Prussia is an obvious one that our enemy will surely predict. But I expect the speed of your advance to take them by surprise, allowing you to intercept their forces before they reach more defensible positions. To fully take control of the corridor, these two major crossings on the Vistula must be occupied. If you seize the opportunity, crossing the Vistula here in a flanking maneuver could make taking your objectives much easier. Mm. Good luck on your first combat operation, Herr General. I would hate for it to be your last. Okay. Just, uh... I, I didn't do any, like, video, uh, stuff. Okay, V-Sync is on. See, I always have problems with games. They always... <clears throat> and if I don't have V-Sync on, I always get vertical tearing. Or not vertical tearing. I always get screen tearing, not vertical tearing, because that's horizontal. Whatever. Uh, okay, so we've got some... I still am getting vertical tearing. What is going on? Or, not vertical tearing, horizontal tearing. Uh, video... You know, it might be the targeting FPS rate, so we might just let it go. Okay. I mean, that's a bit better. I'm getting above 60, so that's fine. Uh, I usually just cap it on games like this because it doesn't really matter, and I, like, upload my videos at 30 FPS anyways, so. All right. <clears throat> So let's strike this anti-tank gun. Do some reconnaissance out this way. We know that's there. Can have an infantry unit back them up. Head through here, take that position. them back. Bombard. Uh, 
All right, the infantry can now do some damage. Or no, those are pioneers. Okay. Sorry, I'm just trying to see, like, if I've still got a little bit of screen tearing right there. I might need to, like, force V-Sync on uh, my card or something. I don't know. It's not a big deal, but still. Uh, status panel, minimap, unit list. Uh, what I would like... So we don't have enough for infantry. Actually, we do have enough. We oh, we've got we've got multi, we got too many infantry already. Um, uh, I forgot. What are these guys? Are these bridging units? They might be bridging units. Uh, we're not going to pick those up. Could pick up some. Could pick up one tank. And if we picked up a tank, I kind of want to pick up a thirty-eight. Like a 38T. Just put it right there, and that can help in the southern reaches. And then we got three tanks up here. Those are all our Panzer 1s and 2s. Okay, capture victory hexes. All right. Well... I think that's everything we've got. <clears throat> we didn't have any heroes, I don't think. Did we? I don't think we had any heroes. I think we have to assign that later. Uh, but yeah, alright. Let's... Let's end the turn. Let's see what they've got in store. Okay, some strategic bombing. Cavalry charging tanks <clears throat> did actually quite a bit to us. All right. You're going to bombard these guys. Or, well, you're going to bomb them. That's your entire purpose. All right. You move to capture this position. Kill you off. Just knock out this AT gun. Probably should have attacked with you first. That's good. That hold our flank. Let's just get you over here for next turn. Says you've got movement, but I don't think you do. Okay. Let's try and knock out their air force. Okay, almost dead. Up. It's a bit too foolhardy. 
We'll try and knock out these cavalrymen. Okay. So we've been able to push quite far. The initial units are almost all gone. They've got a, a very low strength bomber unit and anti-tank. Some infantry up, uh, held up inside of a forest. We're making our way towards their airfields here. I think these forces need to start pushing their way towards the crossing uh, of the Vistula. To come around behind here. It's going to be the plan. I am going to try and outf outflank. All right. It's end turn. the tank. Right, we've got an encirclement going. Our tank will hit this tank. knock out this art or this uh, cavalry or at least try to place some units there all right they've abandoned the forest position which I think is a bad idea for them infantry to attack these TKSs, which are tankettes that are... I think this one's armed with a 20 mil? I don't know. I actually don't remember if... Because uh, there's there's some that's armed with a 20 mm and there's some that's armed with a 12, uh, 12 mil like uh, machine gun. <clears throat> You're going to hold position, actually. You're going to hold right there. Uh, okay. Now we do have aircraft. One's going to destroy this foolhardy bomber. We do some reconnaissance and some strafing of enemy positions. There we go. So I don't see anything in that airfield. This will be the airfield we gotta really check, but they might not have anything. That might be the case. All right. Next turn. Bad attack on their part. Okay. <clears throat> so let's bombard these guys because they're the most likely to survive. 
bomb these guys with a Stuka. Hey, better than average result. Or better than predicted results. Hit you. We're going to reinforce you. And try and kill these guys off. Reinforce you. All right, let's get some infantry down here. start hitting this AT gun. Uh, it says it has movement, but it doesn't. Alright, well we forced out the defenders, now we just need to actually kill them next turn. Uh, or no, we can actually just kill them right now. Not enough, but we've got plenty of turns left. We've got a fairly decent force that'll be coming across the river here, coupled with a fairly decent tank force with artillery coming down south here to take this position. Then we can pincer this one off as well. Or we go through here, we kind of sweep around and try and take the furthest position first, cutting off all these guys and encircling them, giving us an advantage. That might be what we try and do. Uh, all right. Well, next turn. All right, they're getting in. Re they're getting ready for defensive fighting. All right, they're gone. Take the airfield. Okay. Rebase the aircraft there. Won't have any air cover this time around, but kind of need this. <clears throat> Which means we're gonna have to delay our crossing because I want to pin down anything they've got on this side before we cross uh, at least on that front okay we do have infantry here Circle you. Get these guys up there. All right. Make sure we knock out these infantry. We can even. It's just engineers. You could probably just uh, keep them, like, situated there and then try and force the crossing here with some air power. At least knock out the artillery that's here. We'll see. All right, next turn. Tanks! We have an encirclement of an encirclement, but uh, this is easily remedied. 
We've reestablished a cordon. Alright, let's, uh... Let's assist here. Bombard that. Okay. I uncovered some tanks down south. You. Reinforce you. And you. We're ready for the crossing, at least. Forced him back. There we go. That was a good shot. Hold position just outside of the the area. They're pioneers. I don't want to waste them. We did get one hex, so we've got got a couple that we can take soon. If we just get around. Once we once we clear out this, like these two units here, we'll have a much easier time kind of coming around and knocking out what's left. All right. Next turn. Yeah, I came to attack. Okay, we knocked out the AT gun. Bomb them. Force them back. All right, good. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and hit this artillery. And these World War I vintage tanks. Pioneers where they're at. What I mean by their pioneers, not ours. <clears throat> Pincer's going to be here, and we knock out whatever's here is the plan, but who knows. You know what they say about first contact in the enemy and all that? I think that's everything. 
yeah. We gotta bombard these guys next turn to try and even the odds with our own pioneers. Alright. Those boys. do there. I guess let's just bombard to see if we can. Alright, there we go. Okay, not a lot else we can do there. Okay, that's starting to do some damage. Kind of hold off with the tanks for right now. We can increase their strength. Same with you. <clears throat> and apparently same with our vehicle. Our, uh, our 222. All right. Next turn. They're not coming out of their holes. All right. Oh, they are encircled. Okay. Just start hitting them with air. All right. We're going to have to take the shot now to do damage to them. Hopefully decent rolls. Okay, good trade at least. <clears throat> Alright, next turn. Alright, so well, next turn you're gonna have to go out one, but we are doing well here. Next turn we can attack and knock out the last unit here. Start bombarding them. There we go. 
victory. I mean, it's not the perfect. You know, it's not a perfect uh, victory. Probably could have done that a little quicker. Uh, but hey, it works. Alice Clark, hey, General. I've got good news for you. Your successes in the Danzig Corridor, coupled with von Rundstedt's advances south of you, have virtually encircled the Polish capital of Warsaw. In order to prevent our enemy from establishing a second line, I'm ordering you deep into the Polish interior. Capture all victory hexes. Your okay. ultimate objective lies all the way in Dieston Vlodova, here on the Bug River. Along the way, our friends in the Luftwaffe have requested you to pacify the eastern outskirts of Warsaw. This airfield here houses the last vestiges of the Polish Air Force, and clearing them out will grant us complete dominance of the skies. Forward elements of 10th Army have secured Pulami here, where they lack the resources to advance on their own. I suggest reinforcing them if necessary. We don't want the Poles to retake the airfield we're currently holding on to. Good luck, Herr General. Okay. We got a military commendation. Math Math Matthias Zimmerman. Tenacious defender. Extraordinary heroism. Cool, cool. Alright, well. <sighs> that was an interesting first session. And looking at the time, we're over uh, for this episode in terms of time. But, oh well, it was fun. And it was the first episode of the series, so it can be a little bit longer. But I will see all of you in the next episode, where I guess we're going to be doing a deep penetration of the Polish interior around Warsaw. So, thank you for joining me for this episode. If you'd like to, please leave a comment down below. Hit that like button. If you want to help support the channel, hit the subscribe button down below, as well as take a look at the description down below, where I have links to my Discord and my Patreon page. I'll see all of you in the next episode. Bye!